a gorgeous Sunday afternoon, albeit maybe a little chilly for the end of April here in Norman, Oklahoma. University of Oklahoma set to take on the Houston Cougars in game three of this Big 12 series. 2-2 Two -two delivery is popped to the left side, but Riley Boone is gonna glove it for the first out of the inning, and that's a big out for Deal in the circle to sit down Boutte and bring up Kennedy Thomas. In on the hands. 2-2, Two -two, and there's that rise ball again. Deal records her first strikeout of the ball game and changing the eyes. Deal brings the 2-2, catches the inside corner and freezes rolling back-to-back K's for the sophomore. Not in the starting lineup in game two, but back in today. Pickering in the five slot and seeing Kinsey Hansen moved down just a bit as that pitch is laced down the left field line. Ella Parker has herself a stand up double to get things started here for the Sooners in the bottom half of the first. Okay, she Kind of had to take a second, chase after the ball, but no harm done. Off speed, struck well to center field, but Thomas will make the catch at the warning track. Parker will tag up and move up to third. And Jennings continuing to see the ball well. We saw her hit the ball, which is at any count and in any time. But the 3-1 misses inside. And Jada Coleman draws the one-out walk to bring up Alyssa Brito with runners at first. And she goes, you know what? They're not even going to bother. I'm going to go ahead. This is hit well in the left center field gap off the wall. Parker will score. Around comes Coleman. And not stopping as Alyssa Brito dives at first into third for a two-RBI triple. Legging it out at this row is on plane. You might see a different result, but regardless, this one, I mean, it hits the white at the top of the fence, but if that throw is on plane, she is hosed out at third. Absolutely a double, a triple, I don't know. Three one, misses inside and Pickering is aboard with the second walk here in the inning. Innings gave up seven runs on eight hits, six of those earned. As Hansen pops this bunt up on the right side and everyone headed back, but Pickering taking advantage of this Houston infield, not covering second base. An eight pitch at bat as this is sky to the right side. And freshman Bethany Aguilar takes care of it, but not before the Sooners strike first. Two nothing as we head to the top of the second. Start to see little bit of a difference start to happen for Houston. The one, two, swing and a miss. Three strikeouts in a row. A lot harder to field. The two, two, Froser on the outer half. Deal is dealing. <laughs> she is. She is taking advantage of coaches first year. There's a lot of work and ground setting that you have to do as a team. The three, two, misses low. And Houston has their first base runner on the day at second base here as of late. Only started 11 games on the season as this is grounded to short. Jennings is going to fire across, and that will do it here in the second. We go to the bottom half. Sooners on to Santa Strike. And misses low. Third walk delivered by Houston pitchers here today, and that has really been an issue for the staff this weekend. So just trying to find a way to locate and let your defense work just like that pitch as Lorenzo goes back to make the catch for the first down of the inning. And Boone is retired to bring up Ella Parker. Shelby Smith taking on the bulk of that work as this is grounded and it could be a pair. But Parker is going to beat it out just in time. But Houston gets the lead runner. And there's a whole list, <laughs> things to watch out for. This record might be broken. She's about Just to have her own packet <laughs> at this point. Just very, very consistent at a high level as a batter. And She's done great things for Oklahoma. Just her, but you can't stay there too long against a hitter like Jada Coleman. The 0-2 lifted to left field, but the play is going to go off the glove of Butte. Runners on the move. Jennings will score. Parker has scored. 
And on what looked like the third out of the inning, and what I'm going to assume is going to be called and ruled an error, Sooners plate a pair to make it 4 nothing. Here, It was a great job of her ranging back. This one was hit squarely. But she just closes that glove just a second too soon. Almost caught it with her bare hand. And it tips off her hand. And Jada Coleman, she's standing on second with two runs. Missing, missing, missing. Umpire's less likely to give it to you. Ground ball to short. Lorenzo will fight across, and that will do it for the Sooners, but not before an error makes it. Stanford, they had one. I guarantee it's not the last time we'll see it. With the new rule in place, it makes things a little dicey. Oh, my gosh. Alyssa Brito. What a play. Have a different viewpoint of the strike zone. And speaking of strike zone, Kirsten Deal hammers it. Putting up her fifth, excuse me, fourth, fifth, fifth. Math is hard. Lane in time. Had to roll it back over to the top, and Boutte grounds out to make it a one, two, three inning for Deal. We head to the bottom of the third. Sooners on top, four zip. Smith looking to get back in the count. She rocks and fires the 3-0 and misses upstairs another Walk delivered by Houston pitching makes it five on the day. It's the 1 0. It's grounded up the middle, and Hansen has her first hit of the day. Going to be a bobble by Thomas, but Pickering decides better of it. And I'll stay put at second base. Back to back base runners. Long look from Smith. She brings the 2 2. Cold strike three. And Smith, a big strikeout. The 0-2, a little off speed. Hit well to the right side. Halsey will glove it as Pickering tags and will move safely up to third base. Put runners at the corner. That's something that you want to point out because you're out of this inning. It popped up on the infield. Bree Cantu is underneath it. And the Sooners go quietly. Running to catch yes. that ball. And popped up on the infield. Jennings jump mans it for the first time of the inning here in the fourth to bring up Jasmine Rollin. Either way, and out in the scorebook. As Deal brings the 2 2 and expanding the zone, she does. Sixth strikeout on the day as she sits down, Jasmine. Right now. Full count payoff pitch, grounded right back to Deal, flashing the leather. And that will do it for the Cougars in the fourth. Top of the and that's our Air Comfort Solutions scoreboard as this is grounded past the glove of Lorenzo. And Ella Parker is aboard for the third time here today. Master. The air will bring up Tiare Jennings, and this is skied high to left field. It's Lorenzo. Takes care of it for the first time of the inning. Jennings just misses underneath that one. Defense struggling a bit here today, and you pair that with some walks, as that is the sixth walk delivered in this ball game. The 3-2, sky to center field, and the catch will be made. Not deep enough for anybody to tag, and two quick outs. The one-two to Hansen, grounded right at Rollins. She's going to fire it across, and Smith and the Cougars get out of a bases-loaded jam to keep it at four as we head to the top of the fifth. A lot of backdoor, a lot of curveball, but today we've seen her utilize both of those, but also down in the zone as well. A ground ball to short. Will retire Smith for the first out of the inning. Second. As this is poked to the right side and it's going to get down in front of Pickering and the Cougars have their first hit of the game. He's here in Norman. And it'll be a called strike three on Aguilar, and you can see Aguilar making her way to first base. 2-2. Two, two. Hit to center field, but Jada Coleman is going to take care of it.
tied for the third out of the inning. Sooners go to the bottom of the fifth on top, four to nothing. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Seven, eight, nine as Avery Hodge lays down a bunt. But Jasmine Rollin takes care of it for the first out of the inning and Houston defense stepping up. Rollin. And ground ball to short. Lorenzo will fire, and they're going to say that Cantu was able to keep her foot on the bag. Throw took Cantu away, but does a great job of recovering. And that'll bring up Riley Boone and perfectly placed slap, and it's a two out single. If you're a slapper, you use a call card a lot. They did the first two games. 1 1 to Parker, hit well to center field, and it's going to get off. Top of the wall, here comes Boone rounding third. Parker slides into second safely. Moving with two outs. As this is popped up on the infield and Brooke Lorenzo will glove it. Sooners plate one. We head to the top of the six. OU on top, five nothing. So much confidence in what they have offensively. as Hansen's gonna fire it for the eighth strikeout delivered by Kirsten Deal Houston as a team that is offensively one of the best as Carton is retired and Deal making a couple plays in the circle in this. Does a good job of catching the ball, taking her time and getting it over to first. Ground ball to Brito, backhanded. And Deal retires the side in the sixth. We head to the bottom half from Houston defense, but Smith finding a way as this is grounded right back to her. She'll spin and Coleman is retired to start the sixth. Way. 2-0 to Brito, grounded down the left field line into the corner. Brito will round first and she's got herself her second extra base hit on the day. Smith's pitch count rolls over the 100 pitch mark. And the 3-2 misses outside. <laughs> four, for four. four for four. <laughs> a walk day for Cassidy what? Pickering. What and a day. You know what, though? Going to be thrown inside, trying to do whatever she can to send it the other way. 1-2, a little off speed is popped up. And it's going to be a double play to get the Cougars out of the inning and a 3-2 is hit well to right field. But Pickering takes care of it at the track and Rollin is set down. That's a big out for Deal here in the seventh to pose the rubber. 1-1, one, one, grounded down the left field line. Coleman rounds first, but she's gonna be held up as Hannah Kaur. I can still focus on what I've been seeing all game. The 2-2 delivery, strike three. Big K from Kirsten Deal makes it eight on the day. On their feet looking for the series sweep. As the 2-2 catches the corner, call it a 10 strikeout day for Kirsten Deal. Sooners win five nothing, take the series sweep from Houston and Kirsten Deal. They want that feeling. It was stifling. It was a complete game from one to seven. That was a great job by Kirsten Deal. Sooners pick up the win and in